Wold, Marianne Musser, and Randy David will compete with Jimmy Johnson, John Four, and Kim Spool to win fabulous prizes by playing games involving skill and forming, guessing, and changing words on the show that will stimulate your mind. Words of poppin'. And now, here's that dynamite host on Words of Poppin', Shotgun, Tom Kelly. <laughs> Welcome to Words of Pop in the All-American Game Show, where we play games with American words. Got a couple of teams of players. We're going to be competing for some really nice prizes, which Mike Ambrose is going to tell us about later on. But right now, I'd like to tell you about the rules, how they work. Each one of our team members has a buzzer, and the first one to buzz with the correct answer receives 10 points for his or her team. If it is the wrong answer, the other team will have a chance to answer the question, and if any one of our team members blurts out the answer without buzzing their buzzer first, then the other team will have a chance to answer that question and possibly score those points. Well, right now, let's hear that buzzer. Starting with uh, you, sir, on the top row. All right, Dirk, sounds good to me. How about Mary Ann? And how about Randy? Down on the bottom row, Jenny. And John. All right, and how about you, Kim? Well, the buzzers look like they're working really fine. Here's another sound we use on Words of Poppin'. When you hear that sound, that means we've run out of time or the word is obviously not working for us, so we're going to throw it out. Now, as we get into our first round, it's a, a bonus round. Now, the team scoring the most amount of points during our mix-a-word round will win this. All right, Shotgun, each team member is going to receive a coupon for a free dinner plus a $10 check from Good Fun Frozen Suppers with new foods, new fun, a new Circus Supper Sloppy Joe from Red Burn food. Well, all right. All right, now being a bonus round, our first is mix a word. Now, what we do is uh, we got our mix a word machine here. It mixes up the word. We see it right here. You see it on your television set at home. And we give you a category to help you out. The category this time is going to be kinds of birds, such as an owl. And here is the first kind of bird. Not an owl, but a bird of some sort. It's going to be the top team. Yes, it is. Go ahead there, Marianne. Canary. Canary is a right answer for 10 points, all right? Moving on to this next bird. The bird is the word, right there. There you go. Okay, John on the bottom row. Mockingbird. Mockingbird is a right answer. Yes, indeed. Here we go with another interesting bird. Very big bird, by the way. And, and you can uh, talk it over among yourselves. Go ahead there, Marianne. Eagle. It is an eagle for 10 points. Yes, all right. Here's another bird. What do you think it is? John on the bottom team. Blackbird. Blackbird is a right answer for 10 points. Moving on. Mix the words with this one. What do you think this bird is? Go ahead, there, Randy. Parakeet. Parakeet. All right, you turn that point. Now, what do you think this next bird is? There it is. All right, go ahead, John, on the bottom row. Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Hum. All right. Here we go, another bird. What do you think this word is? Go ahead, there, Randy. Pigeon. Pigeon is a right answer. You have to do ten more points. Onward with this bird. All right, John. Robin. Robin is a right answer. Yes, indeed. Ooh, moving right along here. Uh, things that begin with the letter F is our next category, uh, such as fire engine. Okay, and here is our first word. All right, go ahead, there, Jenny. What? Finger. Finger is a right answer. Ten points for the lot of two. Onward with this one. Starts with an F. This word. All these words do. Okay, you've got it, Marianne. Feather. Feather is a right answer. Ten more for it. Yes, indeed. On word, on mix of word, and words popping. There it is. What do you think it is? Okay, John, on the bottom team. Furnace. Furnace is a right answer. Yes, indeed. On word with this one. On John again on the bottom team. Fireplace. Ten more points for that team right there, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think this is? All right. It's in the house, maybe in the kitchen, maybe in the bathroom. Water comes through the, oh, I was looking for faucet. That's what we were looking for. Oh, okay, let's move along and get another one out there for you. Dirk, Marianne, Randy on the top team, Jenny, John, and Kim on the bottom team. You feel this occasionally, maybe when you're sewing. Fabric is what we were looking for. All right. Check this next one out. What do you think it is? Think, okay, go ahead there, Randy. Family. Family is a right answer for 10 points for the top team. All right. On with this one. What do you think it is? Whoa, whoa, whoa. On the woods of Pop and Show, what's it going to be? Starts with an F. 
all these words do. Oh, flagpole is what we're looking for. Okay, let's change the category. I'm moving on with our next category, cartoon characters. All right, here we go. Here's our first very famous cartoon character. Go ahead, John. Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny, right for John Jones. All right. Check out this next. Okay, you got it, Randy. Porky Pig. Porky Pig is the right answer. Ah, right there, right there, characters. Check it out. John of the Bottom Team. John, I'm gonna have to ask you. Donald Duck. Donald Duck is the right answer. All right. What do you think this next mixed up uh, cartoon character is? Oh, very popular. Probably one of the most popular cartoon characters. Oh, uh, uh, going, going. Ooh, oh, Snoopy is what we're looking for there. All right. Here, we change it and go into another one. There you go. Another mixed up cartoon Mickey character. Mouse. Jenny, what? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Yes, indeed. For 10 more points. All right. On way to this one. Okay, you got it, Randy. Pluto. Pluto is the right answer, okay? Here's another mixed up cartoon character. Okay, go ahead, John. Goofy. Goofy is the right answer, yes. All right, and here's another mixed up word. Mixed up cartoon character. Randy. Sylvester. Sylvester is the right answer. 10 more points. All right, now our last category is things that hold uh, uh, other things, such as a glass holds water and other liquids. All right, let's go into our first uh, thing that holds other things. This might hold something of beauty. Yes, go ahead, Randy. Flower pot. Flower pot, yes, indeed. All right, let's go on to this one. If it bounces out on your television set on words of poppin', what do you think it is? It holds something. This could be cold, too. All right, go ahead, Marianne. Ice bucket. Ice bucket, 10 more points. There you go. All right. Onward with this one. What do you think it is? All right, go ahead, Randy, on the top team. Hanger. Hanger is a correct answer. Yes, indeed. All right. Woo, I tell you, we're going to be right back with more of Words of Poppin'. The top team, 120. Bottom team, 110 points here. So by all means, stay with us. Hello. 